What's up guys, I'm back with another video. Took me a while to get to making this one, but I said I would, so here it is. So this is just a quick comparison between my uh, cast iron LS3 crankshaft versus the one I bought, which is by K1 Technologies Forged Crank. It's stock throwing everything, uh, just forged. So right off the bat, as what you can tell is the casting on this one, obviously the rough and sharp edges. And this one looks smooth. It almost looks smaller. Well, it is smaller in some of the counterweight areas, as you can tell here. But apart from that, um, going straight into it, the oil holes on here versus the one on the forged one, these are somewhat chamfered. Sorry. I don't know if you can tell right there. Versus these are noticeably more chamfered, I want to say. And apart from that, obviously... I want to talk about the, where is it at? Oh, uh, so as you see here in the corner, there's no large radius, fillet radius, crank fillet, I, I believe is what it's called. You don't see one on here. It's just, you know, straight 90 degree versus on the stock one. Most of them I want to, I mean, on the forged one, most of them I want to say have this, which is where it kind of rounds off. At the corner there versus just being a straight 90 and that's what gives it its strength and that's what um also you should look for if you get a crank like this i mean unless it comes with a kit obvious you're going to get the right bearings but you have to get the uh narrow bearings and the connecting rods have to be on the right side that is uh chamfered or narrow uh, for it to fit over that properly but um yeah, tomorrow I'm taking it to the machine shop. Um, I was just getting everything ready to put in the garage. That way I could just take it out. But I thought I'd make this video quick before I do that. Because it's going to be about a month before I hear back from them. So, um, really that's all the main differences. Um, as far as in weight goes, I believe this one... Well, actually, I take it back. I was going to say it weighed a little bit less, like maybe half a pound or or 0.2 or something like that. But that was before I actually uh, moved uh, this uh, gear from my old one to the new one. So I want to say they're identical in weight. Just the crankshaft uh, looks different. It's a lot smoother. Uh, but other than that, it's uh, basically the same. Same uh, stroke and everything, like I said. So... Um, I guess stay tuned. Next time I'll be getting the block back and uh, we'll be assembling it. Oh, one other thing I forgot. The stock one obviously has this key slot for the, I guess what do you call it, the wood rough key to keep this uh, gear in place. But it also comes with an additional slot for maybe an aftermarket crankshaft. You can put one on there instead of drilling your own as I did with this one. As you can tell right here. <laughs> but yeah, that about wraps it up. Um, Till next time.